The Indian Space Research Organization has begun the year on a very high note. Now, that was with the launch of ExpoSat. ExpoSat uh, carries an important payload which was developed by the Raman Research Institute in Bangalore. That day, um, ISRO chairman also announced that this year is going to be very, very crucial for Gaganyaan. Now, Gaganyaan is India's first ever human space flight program. So far, only three countries in the world have uh, successfully achieved that capability, which is, of course, the Soviet Union, now Russia, the United States of America, and China. Now, uh, when India announced Gaganyaan, it carried an initial estimate of about 9,000 crore. Now, uh, several years have passed. Uh, the scientists have been working on several aspects of this mission. Uh, the astronauts have been shortlisted and they are currently under training. Apart from that, a series of tests have been lined up and uh, we got a glimpse of it uh, last year in 2023 when we saw the first test vehicle flight under Gaganyaan taking shape. Now that uh, mission, if you remember, where uh, ISRO had used a test vehicle, uh, a test rocket, which flew to an altitude of about 17 kilometers. It carried a crew module, you know, uh, which is basically uh, supposed to, it's a unit which, which is supposed to carry the astronauts uh, when the final mission takes off. And this entire mission was planned to test the crew escape system. So what they did was that they flew the uh, rocket to an altitude of about 17 kilometers, initiated the abort sequence and the crew module then splashed into the adjoining Bay of Bengal from where a team of the Indian Coast Guard recovered the crew modules successfully. Now, uh, Mr. S. Somnath, the ISRO chairman, has said that uh, the space agency has lined up at least uh, four uh, such test vehicle flights where they're going to uh, initiate a bot sequence under multiple scenarios to ensure that uh, in case of uh, any emergency, the crew module can be safely recovered uh, when Gaganyaan finally takes off. So, two of those test vehicles vehicle flights are going to be scheduled this year uh, and that is an important milestone for ISRO. Apart from that, there will be two unmanned flights which are basically a proper flight under Gaganyaan program but there will be no astronauts on board. Instead, there will be robotic payloads to ensure that the entire mission can be executed smoothly. So, there will be uh, uh, test vehicle flights and then there will be unmanned flights. So, that is why 2024 is going to be very crucial for the entire mission. Uh, as of now, ISRO has its eyes on a 2025 uh, launch for uh, Gaganyaan, which is going to be an important milestone for India's uh, space program. After years of uh, being into the domain as a spacefaring nation, it's a dream for any country to uh, you know, uh, to fly its astronauts uh, on the indigenous Indian to fly its astronauts on indigenously built rockets and uh, bring them uh, safely back to Earth. The plan is to uh, take them aboard uh, the launch vehicle Mark III, which is India's heaviest launcher, uh, uh, you know, and reach an altitude of about 400 kilometers, which is the low Earth orbit, and then bring them safely back to Earth after three days. So the preparation has uh, already begun a few years ago, and it's now uh, at a very crucial stage. Let's wish ISRO the best and looking forward to 2024 and the series of tests ahead. Thank you.